Hello and welcome back to the 4th Estate Militia Actual Play. We left off last episode with the team acquiring a new crash pad and planning some upgrades. In today's episode, Improv displays her unmatched ability to search the Matrix. Juliet provides some sage advice about the benefits of a fixer. And Horatio tells the rest of the team about a small job Red Hot needs done. And certainly when the Crimson Crush ask you to provide an escort, you know, just in case. Absolutely nothing will go poorly. It's time to begin episode four, or a calcum plated machine pistols. And well, you I may spent time learning how to make more bombs and better bombs because those worked out pretty good last time. <laughs> <laughs> well, the issue with that, like with building bombs, is you have to find the material to actually make explosives. Oh yeah, or, so oh, yeah, or make so... it yourself. Yeah, so we need to find uh, somebody who can uh, supply us with shit tier barren stuff. Like, because I think I think with Sprawly, if I can probably scavenge like enough electronics and metal debris, right, to like make shrapnel bombs, like you know, like you know, like crude detonators and stuff with jury rigger. But the actual explosive material is harder to find. Yeah. Um, so junkyard dealer or club marks supervisor. The one nice thing is the one nice thing is this is Redmond. So there's a lot of uh, construction out here, Ooh. right? In like fortified sites. So, you know, you could find a construction, you know, find a construction guy if you can, you know, if he can uh, move some uh, some uh, construction explosives out the back door a little bit, you know. <laughs> sure. And or we uh, could, you know, just show up, <clears throat> mur murder the guards there. Can we make a list of contacts that we want to pick up as a sure. group? Sounds like an oh. idea. So I'll start with uh, Chop Shop Doc. Mm -hmm. Cyberware is a must. Um, um, guys, I'd like to uh, I'd like to find someone who can like give me more explosives. Those bombs helped a lot last time, even if they did drop the roof on you. Mm, yeah, fine. Look, look, look. Trust me, I can I I I can put like three circles of bombs all around this place. And if anyone ever tries to come, they're gonna have to go through bombs, lots of bombs. <laughs> You are leaving one lane, at the very least, one lane oh, yeah. open. Oh, yeah, it'll be fine as long as you follow, like, the line I'll put in the ground. But, you know, don't, don't, don't go off that line. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I, I think I'm going to need, like, an, another golden AK. This, this one kind of got scratched last time. It has, I, however, I, had its uh, ownership reassigned, so you have that now. No, this was mine to start Q with. Juliet face palming. <laughs> oh, sorry. But okay, right like, uh, I'm gonna need some some gold machine pistols, maybe, huh. maybe with some orkeltrum plating. Ooh. That real whiz stuff. Ain't that... he, he wants orkeltrum. Oh. Well, hold on, hold on. Out of character. Horatio wants orkeltrum plated machine pistols. <laughs> you know, retirement goals. It's important to have them. Uh, by chop shop, do you mean vehicle or people? Sorry, people. <laughs> okay. So like oh, well, street dock or love cyber dock kind of thing. Yeah, having somebody that could that could work on the cars would be great. I think I think we're gonna need that. Oh um um I can I can work on them a little bit. I read this book about how to fix cars and and you know I think what I I think what I did with bombs and wires I can probably do to a car. Just 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 probably if you're driving it don't 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 touch the wires that would be coming out of the dash you know because you might get electrocuted. Oh no I'm not driving that. Thank you very much. No 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 we we need like a a new new catalytic uh fusion converter in, in the uh yeah know. yeah i can make it out of this bottle see just trust me i can what? do it i trust me i'll figure it out i'll I, figure I, out how to make a catalytic kennel, converter please, out of street trash don't worry about it just stop him please kennel wait 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 i now i don't know what a catalytic is but what are you going to convert it to like, is that one of those, like, fuel reclamation things where, where like, yo, I was watching this tridio, and this guy, like, he had this car that flew because he could travel through time, and his dock, it was, like, dock black or dock green, something like that. He was, like, he was like uh, uh, Morty, you need to come back to the, forward to the past or something like that, and he put a bunch of garbage inside, like, the engine, and he said that was how he powered it. Is, the, is that a Cadil Cadil Cad Cadillac converter or, or what? Some of them makes cars go. That's what I read in the book. Don't worry, okay. don't worry. I can build one. Uh, I don't. Oh. I don't know. I just know all the street racers have one, and they they like overcharge it or soup it up or or something. Wait, they overcharge? Oh, like when you get a credit card and you just you spend too much money. Oh, 
I feel you, man. I, I got stuck in that hole once. But What's hey, a credit I was, card. I was thinking, uh... oh, it's it's like a cred stick, but it's for someone else's money, like, but not like stole. Hey, I'll I'll tell you later, man. Hey, I was thinking, yo, with everything going on out here in the Barrens right now, there's gonna be a lot of loot, and we gotta move some of this loot. You feel me? Do 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 any of y'all know somebody who can who can push gear? I mean, like, like I'm not saying I'm looking for a wall, something more akin to a fence, if you feel me. Yeah, I don't know him, but yeah, we need my last one's probably buried in rubble himself. All that. Yeah, we we might want to like uh, ask around because I know I know that there's like changes afoot in in the barons, like like the crush. They're not even in the the crime mall right now, because of because of what with the uh, uh, the police attacks and all. Oh yeah, have, have has there been a more more any more information received over the matrix about 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 just what the fuck's going on? Have you looked? Uh, I will. Uh, I'll I'll do a T one. It's bad out there, according according to Red. Things are real bad. Everybody's holding up and holding down, and they're like shooting anyone that gets too close. I'm gonna I'm gonna type in what is going on in Redmond into Google. Redmond is in, is currently in a state of emergency for oh, no. for uh, terrorist attacks, harbored fugitives. Uh, gang violence, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But that's like all the time. In yeah. Redmond. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at like look at the clock of like how long this has been going, this has been like the last thirty years. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to look deeper, guys. Follow gonna, the rabbit hole. Yeah. I'm gonna look deeper. I'm gonna go into hot sim now, which is kind of scary on a deck like this. But don't worry, it's fine. We can we can always repair our brain with some bailing wire. It's okay. Hey, yo, don't worry about hot sim none. I got a bunch of chips that put you in hot sim. You feel real good when you're done after that. Uh, so during the downtime, probably this is one thing I would be working hard on. Are we yeah, allowed, it's fun. Are we allowed to use edge for that stuff, or is that like a nah? It's up to you, man. Yes. You have to recover it as normal. Yeah, that's fine. So if you, if you use it in downtime, you have to recover it just like you would normally. That's fine. What? That's some bullshit. Uh, so yeah, Weak. what exactly does, how does improv fail at this? Ah, uh, well, she, well, you know, she was looking for this information, you know, and she got some of it because she got a few hits, but then, you know, there was all this, uh, there's all this new stuff she found, which was, um, a description of like, well, well, it was a treatise on someone who was saying, you know, does, does electrical like wiring really need to be insulated, you know, and she started reading about that a lot. Uh, and the conclusion was probably not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're scared. Me. Yeah. It, you know. You know. Look. 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 As long as you don't touch it, it's fine. Okay. Just. 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 Just don't touch it, and you'll be fine. As long as you don't. It also doesn't need to be grounded. As long as you don't touch it, it or anything that could potentially be touching it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then. And then. And then. Remember, if you don't. If. If. If you don't ground it, that's one less wire you need. Right. So that's more wire to do other stuff with. That's what like the uh, the extra conductivity in your armor is for, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, that's a good way to think about it. Don't touch it, please. <laughs> you are almost certainly going to die. Oh my God! Uninstalled, ungrounded uh, ele uh, electronics. This is a winning strategy. Well, I mean, what with the acid rain, the plastic's just gonna get melted off anyway, right? Oh well, I mean, like not like inside, but I mean outside. Yeah, inside also. Also, just don't touch it. Also, you can you can also probably reduce the amount of wire you need if you also uh, arrange them so that the electricity just like arcs between them. That way, you don't need as much wire. God, I hope she doesn't figure out what a Tesla coil is. <laughs> yeah, so, so I failed. Rip. Yes. Anything else you guys want to do before things get rolling, or while you're still at the treehouse? Uh, I haven't. No, it, has the Matrix come back up officially? Yes. Okay. Yes. The, the the Matrix is fully back up. You actually, all of you receive. I probably should have explained this. After a, after a day or so, uh, the Matrix fully comes back on, and you actually receive an apology for a. Well, all of you who actually have a SAN and subscription to the public grid or whatever. And that there was uh, there was an apology that there was an outage in Redmond. That God had a temporary uh, had to temporarily shut down service in order to perform uh, emergency maintenance on the local Redmond grid. 
So I have a contact, Coco Puff Shimmy. He is my uh, 3 2 info broker, uh, specializing in the Redmond Barons. Uh, I'd like to shoot him a message since he's the one who hooked me up with the job with the Iron Mutts and Brucey. I'd like to shoot him a message and just, just a, you know, a friendly, neighborly, what the frag did you get me into, what the frag is going on type of message. Okay. Um, is that like what you're trying to figure out? Like what's going on or it was just because leaving him a message? Basically just sending like, the equivalent of a text of what the frag did you get me into? What the frag is going on in Redmond? Yo, I think the army tried to hunt me down, yo. Um, unless you're going to give me a roll. I have some, I know what I'm going to tell you. I want, I want to go with what you roll. got. No, no, I, I don't like relying on dice. I want, I want to know what Pickle's going to tell me. Yo dog, um, yo dog, D-A-W-G, obviously. Yo dog, I don't know what you're talking about, but check this out. He sends you a picture of the backside of some woman. On, on a scale of one to, oh my God, how much do I appreciate this picture? Eh, average-ish. Uh, she obviously has like a decent amount of some sort of a cyber surgery on her, uh, like along her back. You can see like if you've ever watched the Matrix, like the little holes that you ha- that they have in their skin and everything. Like you uh-huh. see those like upper upper spine every now and then. All right, I, I will just send him back a picture of a thumbs down, and that'll be it for now. Anything from anybody else? Um, well, I think uh, I think Horatio, when we're kind of sitting around one night having our uh, soy cubes. He'll kind of look at those guys and be like, "Yo, yo, yo, guys, you, you know, Red, he he's uh, he needs some heavy hitters, and and uh, you know, the crush always likes to let people that aren't affiliated do do the work for. Her. It's like uh, contracting out the work that that you don't want to do, you know, and and it's like community involvement, right? They're called saps, is the call from across the. Room. Oh well, they're they're looking for uh, maybe us to do some work for them, and I know you guys like Nuyen. Maybe, maybe almost as much as I do. You know, you might want to like tag yeah. along. Look, there was this. There was this one time I visited my old man when he was still in the pen. And you know what he told me about money? He said that the only thing better than old yen is new yen. So you can count me in on this one. We need a fixer. A real fixer who won't just stab us in the back like a kid. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. We we got this improv girl. She's good at fixing stuff, man. She fixed up Red's radio when we were at the crush's place. Yo, she been fixing this place up. We got water that works in the toilets. No more using I mean, a bucket. I mean, that we can shoot if they screw us over with a job. Didn't you already shoot her once? Well, yeah, but I didn't kill her. It doesn't count. Ah, uh, yeah, you got a good point. It don't count if they ain't dead. That's the thing. We can't shoot a gang if they cross us, right? It's like it's the crush. Yeah, they got a lot more guns than we do. So what if they send us into a blender? It, 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 I don't like it. You know, I don't we, like we, it. we just shoot everyone there, and then then people people know us because then we're legendary, and that's how you get a rep on the streets as being the baddest, the baddest struck head in the world. Yeah, that's also okay, how you get picked up by I the like cops. Um, um, I just, I just want to let you guys know that, uh, unless, unless you find some more explosives, I can't make more bombs for those jobs. I can, I mean, like, I mean, I can still shoot people though. I'm pretty good with this. I shot, I, 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 I killed like three cops last time or like maybe in the, or like, or, or like maybe they're not cops. I don't know. Uh, fine. Chicharron ain't ever taken me alive. Well, I, well, I mean, I mean, no, probably not. They, I mean, I, I mean, they usually don't, right? No, <laughs> unless, unless you're, uh, no offense to your daddy there, Kennel. Some, sometimes they like to, you know interrogate them right right that's the word yeah man sometimes sometimes they do what they they like to say they are sending a message against corruption in some direct whatever look i got a general rule man i don't mess with cops i don't talk to cops i don't off cops i don't roll with cops i just keep my distance and they still keep their teeth in their mouth you know what i'm saying oh yeah you talk to them that's how you get dead it because you know when 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 crush sees you talking to cops they know you're you're uh giving away them secrets right and then they got to shoot you to keep you from telling the cops more about what's going on. They don't get to know. Well, so, I mean, uh, so we, we got a couple options. We can either, you know, I mean, if you all want to get to work, we can get to work. Or maybe we can we can freelance a little bit and work on some supplies. I mean, because Improv, you were saying that you need some explosives. I mean, you know, I don't really think we can just go down to the Stuffer Shack and buy some of that stuff. Although, there was this one time I was having this competition with my homeboy. And we were having a competition to see who could eat the most soy Ritos with that Taco Temple sauce. You know, the green stuff that, that actually melts plastic. Let me tell you. Yeah. Day after, 
explosions for like nine hours. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Uh, well, I I, yeah. I don't work for free. You said freelance, and, and I just want to make sure that's clear. Um, I mean, I mean, you know, there's like, I mean, there's like a lot of construction sites around here. Those guys, those guys will have okay explosives. Also, also, if you can find fertilizer, I can, I can work with that, but it's not as good. Oh, I got, I got fertilizer. No, 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 like, I, no, no, it needs to be, no, don't, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work properly. <laughs> I like you more, Horatio. But yeah, we need scripts. So Crimson Crush, really? It's all we got? No one else knows anybody? Wait a second. Uh, I don't know. Anybody. Where she turns away and calls to Zap. Uh, Mr. DM, would Zap even pick up at this point? Are you trying to call him directly? Yeah, she'd have to just leave a dead drop note. Let me put it this way. What she would do is see if she can poke improv into getting a look at it through a camera or something else um, of what of if Zap's little bunker is still standing. Uh, sure. Uh, do you know any uh, comm codes of anything around there? Mm hmm What are you gonna need for me to do that, Mr. GM? Uh, what, what's his loyalty to you, Juliet? Uh, let me double check. I think it was four. Yeah, four. Oh yeah, he would definitely. Yeah, yeah. She can just give you the comm code, and you can just hack it, hack into it like a normal device. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can roll that out if you'd like. Yeah, if you don't mind. Uh, you're looking at a rating. Okay, there we go. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say a rating, I, too. You, you see a crappy camera that's uh, down the street looking into... What did this place look like again, Juliet? Or you it, it looked like a um, trailer that had been... I'm sorry, um, a cargo container. It looked like it had concrete poured uh, freeform on top of it with only one entrance and exit. And then a couple of turrets wired, what we call them, uh, smart firing platforms stuck up at odd angles on the outside. So outside of this makeshift bunker, you, you see probably a good six or seven bodies just <laughs> just lying there. There doesn't appear to be any sort of abnormal damage to the door or the way in okay. itself. Oh, wow. Looks like someone tried to get in there, but they're all dead. Yep, he's fine. Would anybody like to order ammunition while I'm contacting him? I'm getting that explosive ammo. Thank you very much. So yeah, um, Juliet will be sending a message to Zappa, her a usual dead drop, I guess, quote unquote usual, asking him to deliver another 150 rounds of explosive ammo whenever he can. Would you mind making me the availability roll? And if sure. any of you, if any of you want to get ammo, feel free to use each other's contacts. Uh, does that include things like grenades? From this guy. Because he was mostly a gun supplier, right, Juliet? Yeah, he just deals in weapons, period. Black market dealer. Oh, does your, does your contact have, like, hollow points, you know? Yeah. Because that's he the has piece of stuff. everything. That's a no-go on the explosive ammo. Oh, well. Let's be cheeking and go for APDS. Oh, boy, are we going to get it? So, yeah, Juliet, yeah, you can get up to uh, yeah, easily... Two magazines of yeah. Her APDS. magazines are seventy six rounds a piece, so that's about you know. Yeah, yeah, you can easily rounds. get hundred and fifty. <laughs> the more specialized the contact is, like if you're trying to get something in their specialization, they're going to get more dice to get it. Like if you're trying to get a gun from this guy, I'd give you a plus, probably a plus two to a four, depending on what you're trying to get. If you're using actually a person that tends to deal with ammunition, again, two or a four, depending on the environment, that sort of stuff. Yeah, this guy oh, specializes that... in guns and ammo. Oh, does that mean he could get me like an Ultimax pistol? They're they're machine pistols, and because they're the max, you know they're the best. They wouldn't be able to call them that if they weren't the best. Right. Hey, he's sure. he's got he's got a point. There's there's laws. It's called false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt that's a thing in the sixth world. They 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 referenced it here and there and like in like lawsuits and like the Jack Pointer fluff, which I find hilarious that like they would still do lawsuits. But like, you know, of course all those lawsuits are backed up by people getting actually murdered, so whatever. Yeah, unless people are dying hand over fist, I highly doubt false advertisement's gonna be an issue. <laughs> oh, well I guess but, I guess we're getting yeah. I, I, I I guess we're getting ourselves some money then by uh by by doing some work for someone, right? Was that the idea? And then we can branch out. 
Yeah, as much as I hate to admit it, the Crush are probably our best clients right now. Yeah, like um, there's got to be at least one lieutenant we can shoot if he screws us over. Well, yeah, and 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 I mean, usually, usually all they all, all they want you to do is like go shoot some people. I mean, I can do that. Yeah, that's that's like a majority of the stuff I've done for him. Sometimes <laughs> you just stand there and look tough, but that's oh, not okay. as fun. You mean like our last job? Oh no, we shot a lot of people on that job. At least I did. Hey, whoa, whoa! Uh... I didn't shoot anybody, but I did kick a guy's spine halfway out of his back, and a. I might have blown up some guys with a hand grenade, but I didn't shoot nobody, okay? Okay, I really like you. All right, well, we'll hop in the back of the truck. I'll drive you guys over. Yeah. Just uh, hold on tight. Me? There's like, there ain't like uh, seat belts or anything. Which car are you guys taking? The America or the Gopher? Well, uh, well, 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 the Gopher has been reassigned, I believe, correct? No, the Gopher's mine. It was mine to begin with. Oh. I thought you had the America. Yeah. But no, he, he started with a gopher. Oh, never mind. Oh, so you had two gophers. Okay. Hey, yeah, two remember gophers. Remember, we, we looted a gopher that didn't have yeah. uh, any kind of ownership on it. Well, now it does have ownership. It's that hard. one doesn't have, like, a winch. <laughs> you know, if we find something real heavy, like a safe somewhere, we we might want to, like, steal it. You're going to go to Red Hot? Uh, yep, he'll, he'll uh, drive him over. And just want to make just want to make sure everybody's going. Yeah, we're going. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, before we go, he said to bring your gear. We, we're probably going to need it. Okay. I, I mean, I mean, remember I said that probably my most important part of gear is in my head, and like it's made so like you can't take it out without like wrecking it. So I'm fine. I remember. Yeah. Oh, you got one of them them bombs put in there. That's that's ballsy. When, well, no, I have it. I I have it wired up, and like and like if you try to take it out, it'll 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 it'll, it'll just be like incinerated, and you can't actually use it. Um. That helps a lot. Oh, you should get like one of them bombs put in there. That way, if they take it out, it explodes and kills them I'd all. I probably make one. Like revenge, right? I could probably make one like that. Yeah, that's gangster. <laughs> he'll so he'll jump through the roof and, and start to try. Like? Oh, he's he's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> we we grew up together, so you can real trust him. You know, unless unless you got some soy cubes that that he wants. Uh huh. Uh, this place is technically his, so... Yeah, you've all actually kind of met Red Hot, or at least seen him. Oh yeah, Juliet just yeah. wants to know what Horatio thinks of him. We're, we're chumbers. Sure. But when we were young, like like three years ago, we, we were robbing stuff for shacks together. That makes all the difference, I know. Oh wow, did you have someone to deal with the turrets? Oh, well he just shot him. Oh, okay, that works. May, look, well, if 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 you ever do that again, do me a favor and scoop out all that's left of it, um, because those are those are some prime circuits. Those 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 things are really good for detonators. Okay. Sure. Okay. So as you guys uh, take off, uh, Horatio takes you once again back to. Uh, he takes you back to the granite top. Instead of like last time, where everything like all the lights are off, there's nothing going on. Every, everything's once again lit up as much as a Redmond. Uh, bar can be. You have the the old school like globe lights hanging up uh, everywhere where you can. Instead of the normal various cars or well, the f various vehicles that the the Baron's trash has been able to cobble together, there are several different uh, Crimson Crush vehicles uh, surrounding this area. And Horatio, as you drive up. Most of these guys you, you've seen before, at least know of them, or they know of you. As soon as they see you, they wave you on through and just let you pass. And outside, considering you told me that you were coming earlier, it sta is is red hot. And as soon as you uh, pull up, he jumps in the back and gives you a uh, gives you a location further south from the bargain basement. You got it, boss. Then then he'll speed off in a cloud of. Uh dust and, and former granite rock that this mining place had, had dug up and they strewed all over the place. So Red Top, what kind of what kind of work are you looking for us to do here? We just need to know we just need to know what's going on. We've we've had to uh, pull basically everybody back from what I understand. Things have gotten bad. We're being pressed in by the spiders, we're being pressed in by the stilettos, and we've even had a couple of run in run ins with the with the nukes. So but we just kind of pulled back and trying to see what's going on. Kill everyone. I like it. 
Wait, what? What do they do on this this far out of their own turf? I mean, those those weirdo fraggers are normally out in like the in the, in the flat fields and with all the, like like Glow City and everything. What are they doing way up here? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. Have they just been just rumbling with your boys, or are they just trying to take like take over? You know, and he'll tap his nose like the business. We're always scrapping with them. We're always fighting. There's always something going on, but I'm guessing here that with with everything that that just happened, they're looking to make a move on us. Those fraggers. They are desperate. And with all three of them, it's hard to to keep everything going all at once. But and then, not to just mention those those guys. A lot of our smaller crews are are now starting to fight back or. Or, or flipped or turned or only ghost knows what. I've hardly slept in the last two days. I'm running on long haul right now. Hey, yo, if you need a little pick-me-up, I got a little something with me. And he'll pop open the uh, the smuggling compartment in his horn, and he'll take out a uh, little capsule of cram. And he'll just sort of, he still, even though he's in the back of the truck, he's still palming it, you know, making sure nobody's watching. And he'll flash it to our, to a red top and be like, hey, it'll keep you going. Yeah, he looks at you and gives you a big tusky grin. He pulls out uh, his own inhaler. He goes, uh, "I got something if if things happen." And at this time, he'll do the the trog fist bump, the the "All right, I got you" kind of gesture. So you fraggers are done chit chatting. You want to know what we're doing or where we're going? Oh uh, yeah, sure. Probably that would help, right? Oh, also, question. Um, do you guys uh, do you guys have any explosives? Also, pay. You won't pay? Well, we need to take care of our costs of ammo, at the very least. I mean, we're not Crimson Crush, are we? No, guess you're not. Um, I guess I can do uh, 2K. How about you let us know a little bit more about what you want? Because if you just want to do a drive-by, if you just want an escort, yo, man, you don't got to pay me nothing for that. But, you know, my girl here, she's got a point. If you expect us to be dropping our... Uh, and he'll slowly open his jacket so you can see a, a flashbang hanging inside... If you're expecting us to blow our own ordinance to help you out, and we're not getting any, he snaps his fingers, uh, recompense. Recom- is that the word? When we, we get paid for, whatever, you know. But if we ain't getting paid back for the shit we going to use, I mean, I'm just saying that's a little one-sided. No, like I said, I'll, I, I can, I'll pay. I'll pay. It's not a big deal. But there's a small gang. That they've made a lot of money for us in the past. We think they may have been hit by the spiders. We're going to go check on them. If something goes down... We, we need to get in, and he pulls out a a, a data chip. He says, I need that back, and uh, we'll hit it. Like, we'll just kind of wave it at one of you. Yeah, Kennel will uh, reach out, he'll take it, and he'll just instantly pass it over to Improv. Ooh, okay. Uh, and and we'll stick in, uh, well, I mean, you know, we're not we're not too smart, so we're going to put it right in our data jack. <laughs> Zoop. Okay. There's no, like, encryption or anything. It's literally just, there's a handful of files. They each have pictures of various things of equipment. They actually appear to be somewhat high end. And probably, uh, do you have like, do you have a chemistry or anything like that? I mean, I mean, I mean, I have, uh, I have like Medicine. industrial mechanic. Um, uh, chemi- actually, no, I do have chemistry. Never mind. I'm sorry. I bought it after the last run because she, because uh, she read some books. If you would mind uh, rolling chemistry, please. What a nerd! She reads books. Yeah, look, 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 look. Books are really good. Um, have uh, have you ever heard about resistance? Like, you know, like you know, like in terms of electricity. Yeah, is when like the man tries to come and shut off your power because he's like, you ain't paid your bill in three months, and you got to fight back. You got to resist him, so you punch him as hard as you can in the neck, but you don't want to kill the boy because that's just gonna bring John Law down on you. So yeah, I, I oh, know all about that, man. Oh well, no, that no, no, that, that's not that's not really how it works. But um, uh, look, I mean, you know, you, you know, you probably have more resistance than like her. Right? Don't worry about it. Books, he's a lot books, bigger. Books teach you a lot, yeah. And it's because he's bigger, that means he's going to be stronger. That's how it works. Everybody knows that. We ain't stupid. I mean, I mean, yeah, probably. Unless, unless you, like, step on a bomb, that usually, that usually takes that. Yeah. Wait, wait, did you say, but did you put bombs in the floor? <laughs> no, no, well, I mean, well, I mean, not this time. I did before, but not this time, not yet. I, okay, okay. What? Just, okay, I... Well, that you, well, well, well. Some of the guys who who tried to kill us at the school stepped on some of my bombs in the hallway. Four of them tried to come and kill me, but then, but, but, but then I triggered one bomb, and they kind of stopped being people. They were more mush. Yeah, explosives um, are horrifying. 
it looks similar to, but not quite something that you that you had seen and uh, seen either seen or had described in one of your books. It's used for it's more for uh, purifying or separating out chemicals from one another. Basically, like taking uh, um, like how the uh, the cartel started can... mixing uh, uh, cocaine with a wax based substance, and they would use it to make little statuettes which would make it through customs. And then when it got to where it was supposed to go in the States, the uh, statuettes were melted down, put into, I think it was a centrifuge to do the initial separation. And then there was some other stuff, science yes. words to make it separate out. Yes. Thank you. Like I knew what I was trying to describe, but I couldn't think of how to describe it. It's used to separate out chemicals from other, from other things without causing an actual chemical reaction. Okay. Oh yeah, so okay, all right, yeah, so 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 the separatory salt. All right. Yeah, it's a fairly nice one. Like it's actually, uh, it's actually got a, it's actually made of stainless steel, and appears to be uh, have very nice, like actually has like acrylic viewing areas, like where you can actually see what's going on and oh, manipulate wow. it versus the standard Baron's scrap together drug lab. Oh oh wow, guys, um 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 if we got that it would it would help me a lot in making bombs and also drugs and also other things that we could use aren't we supposed saying. to give all this back to red Hulk? well 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 i mean i'm only saying if, mm-hmm. if 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 like they have two right i like the way you think yeah well, well that's just one of the machines there are several other that you yeah. several several others that you don't recognize like it's a series of like six fairly large machines we're gonna take all of them the troll can carry it <laughs> Wait a minute! I got an idea because we were we were talking earlier. We have two gophers, dude. But this is it. Well, no, no, no. Load that shit up. It. We were talking about hitting one of those construction sites earlier. What if? What if we hit the construction site and we steal us a forklift? And then we can just drive that some bitch in, and we can just pick everything up with that. Why don't you just pick it up? You're a troll. Well, I mean, driving forklifts is fun, man. I did that one summer, right? Yeah, but um, I don't know. I don't know if you've ever gone to the, uh, uh, you know, gone to the construction site. Um, a lot of them, a lot of them are from MCT. Do you know what MCT is? Yeah, it's that that fancy oil that people is putting in their uh, their protein shakes when they is lifting because they say it helps their brain power. No, no, uh, no, that's Ripper. Um, no, this is uh, 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 this is a company from Japan. And um, I don't know if you, I don't know if you know about drones. Uh, I know a little bit about because like because you know I can hack them a little bit. Um, but but like if you go close to the sites, the drones just shoot you and you die real fast. Uh, be, uh, because they have because they have really good bullets and they have a lot of drones, like a lot, like a lot, like a lot. So so you're saying they got like a lot of drones there? Like we we could yes. just hide. I'll I'll pick up whatever this separator uh, solves thing is. Yeah, it 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 it, it separates solvent. You know you know it. Don't worry about it. It's not important. Um, I can make it work though. I'll probably have to rewire it. Don't touch it after I do that. Hey, can you can, will this thing work on hot sauce? Because I got a jar of hot sauce that started getting moldy on the top. Like, can you separate the the moldy uh, solvent with uh, this thing so I can get back to the good hot sauce? Because that that moldy stuff don't taste good. I mean, I mean, probably, but I can also make a heater out of out out of like a couple of bits of wire. Just don't just don't touch where it's arcing. Oh, you gotta throw that in in like the still, and then you can can like recycle it and make uh uh like uh. Baron's hooch out of that. Oh yeah, I can do that. I read a book about I read a book about how to do that. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so everybody in the Barons wants to get yeah, they all want to get crunk like every night. What if we start making our own hooch out of hot sauce and we'll be like, boom, we got the hottest product in the Baron. See, that's one of those double entendres that has like two meanings. That's why they call it double. It, this this entire time, like Red Hot's like <laughs> leaning through the, the back window. Yeah. And he, he just he just can't help but just stare at all of you like are these really the people that i'm working with here <laughs> we'll notice that and look over and say um hi is that all you needed but yeah we need we need all of these oh okay um okay okay so you just you just want us to go in and boost all this equipment right yeah there there may be there may be some fighting there may not be i i don't even know if these guys are still there i'm just hoping this stuff is still here well, well, well. I mean, if it's still there, we we can get it. And and uh, if there's people there, um, I mean, you know, we I mean, we can probably kill them. Um, um, um. Uh, one question. Um, for 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 like, you know, you're you're offering us, you know, some payment. Is there any chance I could get paid partially in explosives? Do you have that? Depends on what you're looking for. Just 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 like normal commercial grade stuff. That's all I need. Uh, he, he's very much on the verge of being like, yeah, he's not waving no. his arms behind him. Prob's head. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the, tr- the truck together, it's only eight R and hundred bucks per uh, <laughs> per per. It's a hundred bucks for a kilogram 
of commercial grade explosive, which seems off to me. I don't know. I, I don't, uh, that seems low, but that's Shadowrun for you. I guess I guess the proliferation of munitions has allowed that to happen. Does anybody else want to jump in here and help her or no? Yeah, so, negotiate, we'll, so, by so, the way, listen, and no listen. charisma. So Yo, Red Top, this is this is the way we're looking at it, right? Because we know that it's hard to cough up money, especially at a time like this. And my girl here, and he'll put this gigantic you know, huge troll fist in, in front of improv waiting for a fist bump. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll give it to him with, with our weak little two strength hand. See my, my girl here is what she's, what she's talking about is if she can get some of the boom, that's going to keep some of the, the new yens on your cred stick, because I'm sure you know, you know, straight players like Crimson Crush, you guys have been running the Barons for so long. You've got to have some of that stockpiled. And I'm just saying at a time like this, when you got people trying to creep on your territory, what's more important, having that, that little bit of cheddar in your pocket so that you can pay off who need to be paid off or having some boom that none of your people know how to use. Be my girl right here, you know, she knows how to use this stuff. So if you hook her up, you pay her in the kaboom, maybe she's going to be able to turn around. We're going to be able to do a better job for you next time, especially if you got players creeping up on your territory. I'm just saying, you know, what's easier to part with right now? A little boom you got no use for or a little bit of new yen that you know you need? Roman's at no negotiations. Yeah. You and, not. Let me oh, see, yeah, improv, you can help if you want to or if you're <laughs> able to. I, I mean, I've been talking. Are. I mean, I've been talking. Yeah, yeah I, I just don't so, know. Like, yeah, I mean. So, yeah, you, yeah, I'll roll it. Yeah, you I'll can help. It. Yeah. It's going to go great. It's going to go great. Don't worry. So, so improv is going to be uh, a teamwork testing with me. <laughs> do, hey! do I get any bonus points for my awesome fist bump? <laughs> uh, fist bump? No. Do you have first impressions or anything like that? Yes, I do. Yeah, this is te- this is technically the first time where he's actually getting to, to talk to you and get to know you. So this would be a first impression moment. And if you have tailored pheromones, those would apply. No tailored pheromones yet. That's down the road. Well, that's four hits. Do I want to edge it? Mm, I kind of do. I kind of want to edge it. Do it. Social limit's only six. Oh, God. We're going to edge you it. You got four edge, right? I got two edge. Ooh. So we are going to post edge, and I'm rerolling eight dice. Oh, God, yeah. That I am at my social limit of six. And uh, as soon as Kittle starts talking, uh, he's he's just begins nodding his head. He's obviously very much like, yeah, okay, I, I get you, I get you, I get you. How much are you looking for? Um, I mean, like, I'll take all, I mean, I'll take all of it in that. So, so you know, like, you know, like twenty kilos, maybe. <laughs> Fucking twenty kilo bag of TNT. <laughs> Wait, is it TNT its own thing? Yeah, there's, uh, well, there's TNT, oh, and okay. then there's commercial explosives, which. I, I was I was part of a discussion about TNT. It has a base damage of five P, which is we. Th- I think when they put TNT, they meant black powder, and when yeah, they talk about commercial, commercial like explosives, base or something. Yeah, commercial explosives yeah. should be real TNT. What's TNT in the book should be actually black powder charges. Okay. Yeah. So okay, yeah, that know. makes a lot more sense. Yeah, he, he would look at you and be like, "Yeah, I can get you a twenty sticks." Awesome. I can break those apart and 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 uh, and take all the explosives out and make them into better explosives. Just, you guys probably shouldn't touch any of it. Just don't use them on us. I mean, only if you're trying to kill me, which I think you are, because otherwise I'd already be dead here, right? That's Again, right. Like, like, <laughs> like you see him all over for a second, like eh, I've killed people for stupider things. I mean, <laughs> well, I, well, well. I mean, if you're thinking about it, just 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 think about this. Um, if you need someone to make bombs for you, I can do that. I can make car bombs. I mean, that's that's like why they call them the crush, because they like crush everyone who opposed them. <laughs> oh, damn. I thought they were, I thought they was named after that soda pop. The uh, the the the, you know, it's got like that flavor that's like uh, cherry and motor oil. Oh, man, that's, that's it, what it's about. Yes. See, I, that's what I always heard, too. I always thought it was the Mountain Dew Red Crush. Right. So that's what I thought we got the name from personally. Just saying. Oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm only like 20 years old, so you know. Anyway, we'll give you 20 sticks of uh, of dynamite. Yes. The rest of you, is there anything else? Is there anything you'd rather have than than Nian or ammo? Hey, yo. I so I know this is going to sound a little bit weird because all these people is talking about bombs and 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 like like bullets that explode. But uh, yo, you you know anybody who's got some some dogs for sale? Do you want to 
buy a dog. Well, yeah, I mean, that's... Look, man, don't judge me for my hobbies. I find it relaxing, and it is good for my anger management. I like to, you know, train dogs. I mean, like, whatever, yo. No, uh... Huh. I mean, we could, like, take him to, to Jimmy's stall. You know, where, like, he usually has some... In, in sense he, yeah, 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 but, the, yeah, but those, are for eat, those, those are for eating. Well, yeah, that's cool, man, because, you know... All right, so look, I don't want to say I'm one of them mean people that, that's going to just, like, throw a dog through a wall and have it kill everybody until it gets stabbed to death, but, I mean, yo, I'm looking for a couple of dogs I can just throw through a wall and kill people if I need them to, all right? Ain't no way I'm going to take my little baby Hodor and put him into danger, you see? And, and he'll actually pull out his comm link, and he'll pull up a picture of his big dumb dog, Hodor, and he'll show it to uh, to Red Top. See this little pretty face? I wake up to this face every morning. I, I, I love this dog more than I love my mama, who... I mean, admittedly, I don't know my mama, but I'm, I'm, I've, you know, I've seen trids where people talk about how much they love their mama. So, what I need is I need like, like you know, like when you're walking on the streets and you got that pearl handed Aries Predator V in your belt, and you're like, yeah, this is me right here. But if you're going to grease a guy, you know, you always use like a little, a little like a, a Walther or a street line or something like that, because you put it behind the ear and you go blah blah, and then you just throw that one away. Yo, I need that, but you know, with ears and a tail. Oh, huh. I'll, I'll see what I can do. Where'd you get a pearl handled at Aries? Well, never I, mind. I don't, I don't. I don't actually have one of those, man. It was just I saw. I saw a picture of it once in a magazine. Cause yo, I can read pretty well, and I don't know. It's just, it looked kind of good, you know. Cause pearl handled it was it was going off this guy's teeth, which was uh you know same color like a uh, pearl color. Oh, I bet that guy was like a proper proper gangster, you know, like a lieutenant or something. Nah, he was wearing this like brown thing. It was this big fat guy with sunglasses. It was it was a it was one of those flat pictures, and he was jumping off a boat onto some beach. And it was like, I don't know, yo. This this picture was like 140 years old or something like that. At least that's what that's what Lady at the Library told me. All right, yo. Um, we're about to get here. How, how do y'all want to do this? Because I'm gonna. I'll well, say, uh, uh, he goes. Hold on. He actually stops. For, like he has Horatio stop for a second, and you actually see him. Horatio, this is probably one of the first times you've ever actually seen him do this. Uh, he actually takes off his Crimson Crush stuff and puts on more standard Baron's gear. What what you doing, Rudd? You're not you're not representing? Aren't these our guys? Could be, if they're not. I mean, I thought that was like the whole point of, of the colors, is so people know when you crushed them who who it was. That way the word gets out. Yeah, normally. This isn't normal. Oh, yo, is this, like, secret spy stuff? Like, you know how you have, like, oh, what was that guy's name? True Patriot from that, that trid that came out a couple years back where, like, he went over to uh, that place where they speak Russian, whatever that place is called, and, like, he, he like he took off, like, his American flag jacket and he put on a Russian flag jacket. Russian, that's what they called him. And he put on the Russian flag jacket and he spoke words in Russian and stuff that were, like, and, and, and like, he had to pretend like he wasn't what he was because he was trying to get in with the guys who he wasn't who he was trying to get through, right? No, I'm just trying not to get shot. Oh yeah, that works too. I right? it's cool. <laughs> okay, then then maybe I should like drive around the block first so we can we can see if they got like uh, like lookouts or something. Yeah, I'll take a look. I'll take a look and see if I see anything. Hold on a sec, please. Oh, and and before she goes in the hot sim, she she's like, um, don't 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 uh you know don't play with my body or like try to dig this thing out of my head because as I said, it's not gonna work. I was just kind of pass out. Uh, Julia, since improv is sitting next to you. <laughs> oh, no. Do, do you wish to mess with her in any, wish, shape, or, any way, shape, or form? Uh-oh, that's uh, She's a bit it's strange. She simultaneously despises her and is kind of scared of her that she's going to stick somewhere that they should, she shouldn't later on, so no. Bombs. She's just probably already wired herself with, like, a dead man switch anyway, right? <laughs> I should do that. <laughs> Juliet doesn't have does she have poor self control? No, she does not. Oh I'm sorry, yeah, she has poor self control for God, uh, she's I'm an idiot. I was thinking poor self control for something else, my bad. But you, you again, you don't have to in this case because she's only kind of been getting on her nerves. Or at least <laughs> seems to be that way. <laughs> Yeah, she's oh, she is. But she's, she's not felt like uh, improv did something to her yet, you know, except for, well, she dropped a roof on her, but she's already tased her for that. So it kind of already played that out. <laughs> huh. 
Well, everybody, I hate to leave you on a cliffhanger like that, but we're about to get into some Matrix shenanigans and investigate this apartment to find out what happened to Red Hot's drug cooks. We'll see you next week.